creative friends, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. A couple of years ago, I bought a couple of really cheap plastic planters from Amazon, I think. There were faux terracotta planters and I painted them. So this is one of them here. This was about three years ago. And one of the most common questions I get on the post is how it's holding up. So today I'm going to give you an update on this particular planter. I'm also going to paint the second one that I never got around to painting. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of an embellishment onto both of the planters using some permanent vinyl with my Cricut Maker. So I'm actually really surprised with how well this paint job held up. I used Deco Arts Curb Appeal paint along with their stencils. So the paint is called Hampton Blue and the white is just farmhouse white. And it turned out really nice. And honestly, this planter has been outdoors in our harsh Canadian winter throughout the winters and the summers, and it still looks great. There's only a couple little spots that the paint has chipped away along the edges, which is not barely even noticeable. I love how my pink flowers look this year against the, the blue, and it really matches my front door, which I also painted using the same color. So I'll be sure to leave the links to those tutorials in our description below. Now I wanted to add a little bit more of a welcoming touch to my front porch. So using my Cricut Maker, I cut out both our house number sign for one planter, as well as just a little welcome message for my other planter. So I'm going to show you how to do that now, step by step, and let's get started. When I originally painted um, this pot, the Hampton Blue, with the white stencil, I meant to then do the second pot. I painted it white, and I intended to do the stencil in Hampton Blue, and just never got around to it. So the white paint even has held up really, really well. Um, just up here along the top edge, you can see that there's a few little flakes that have worn off over time. But because I want to give this a little bit more of a cohesive look to match my front door, I'm going to paint the white pot blue, and then I will be adding those decals cut with the Cricut Maker using white vinyl. So I carefully tied up my flowers to get them out of the way, and then gave the white planter a coat of the blue paint. I let that dry and then painted a second coat. This paint is really easy to use and goes on very nicely and provides great coverage. So as I was about halfway through painting that white pot blue, I realized that the color I was using was actually New England Navy and not the Hampton blue like this pot, which makes sense because this one never quite matched my front door. <laughs> so. I will be actually now painting this pot New England Navy to coordinate with the other one. What do you think? Do you like it better with the stencils or without? After I painted my planter, I left it to dry while I went on to cut the decals with the Cricut Maker. I started by opening up a blank canvas in Cricut Design Space and searching for some beautiful borders and lettering to go on my planter pots. I found these particular designs and I'll leave, and I'll be sure to leave the codes for those in the description below. I measured my planter pot and made sure that the designs matched that size that I wanted. Then I duplicated the welcome one I created and replaced the welcome with my house number sign. So this part is customizable and you can obviously add your own house number or even your last name instead of the welcome sign or instead of the number, whatever you'd like. Once the designs were ready to go, I hit cut on my, I hit make project on my uh, design space and then moved it over to the cutting mat. Now here I have loaded onto the mat the white outdoor vinyl. It's a really nice glossy vinyl and meant to be water resistant and great for using outdoors. So I'm just placing now the second one for the second design onto the cutting mat and placing that into the Cricut Maker and just letting it go, cut that out. 
Once the pieces are cut out, I carefully weeded the vinyl from the backing to reveal my beautiful designs. Tell me, do you love or hate to weed projects? I actually quite enjoy it, but sometimes they cooperate more than at other times. So this one's coming off nicely, and now we just need to remove all the little bits inside of the loops of the design. Now that my pots are painted and my designs are cut out, it's time to transfer the designs onto the pots. I'm using Cricut's transfer tape here, and I'm just going to cut a piece to be about the same size as my decal, placing, and I'll place that over the decal. I did find that the decal was a little bit hard to transfer because it stuck so well to the transfer tape. So if it's the first time you're using the transfer tape, which is generally reusable, consider removing some of the stick by placing it against the piece of clothing before placing it onto your vinyl the first time. It's time for the fun part, placing my lovely decal onto the painted planter pot. So I'm just taking a moment to make sure that it's centered and lined up. And then I will stick the transfer sheet with the decal onto the pot and carefully working from inside towards the outside, uh, stick all the pieces of the decal onto the pot. Because the design is a bit larger than usual, meaning the piece of transfer tape is pretty large, it may be good to have a second set of hands if you can manage that to help remove the uh, transfer tape from the decal. And basically you're just going really slowly trying to push the white uh, design onto the planter plot pot while carefully wiggling away the clear transfer tape. I find this back and forth motion works really well. Um, to make sure that the transfer tape comes off without taking the design with it. Uh, as I mentioned, this was the first piece or my first use of this piece of transfer tape, so it was extra sticky and I should have um, de-stuck it a little bit. The design came off much easier on the second pot. And there you go. I have beautiful new custom planters for my front porch. I love that I can put them side by side or maybe even across the porch on different steps. So be sure to visit the blog post linked in the description below for the full step-by-step -step tutorial, supply list, as well as how to access the design to make your own custom planters. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more nature-inspired DIY and decor ideas in Cricut Crafts. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!